What's going on? This is your boy Tunchi, and this is YBE TV. Today, I got an expedited question. And um, for the people that don't know what an expedited question is, is that a lot of the way I get uh, a lot of questions from you guys every day. Y'all go to the website, www.ybetv.org, and y'all go to Ask Tune and send me a question. And I try my best to respond as fastly as I can. So, what people don't understand is by being a free service, everybody takes advantage of it, and I'm booked all the way out. I got a lot of things scheduled to come out, and I got a lot of videos that I got to shoot for people. So now I have a service for $19.99 in less than 48 hours. I will shoot a response to your question that you're asking me, and I will put it up immediately. That's for the people you know you need some type of urgency. You're going in the lease, and you need some advice, or you need whatever. I'm just doing that, and it helps to grow the channel, and it keeps everything growing and moving. So let me get to that. And also, before we finish that, I want to let you guys know, March 1st, I'm going up to $199 on a business credit class. I haven't had any bad reviews. Everybody loves it. And everybody money. So hey. let's rock and roll on that. So now we got the question. It says, what's up, Tune? First of all, I want to thank you for the information you've shared. I appreciate it. You have helped me and a lot of others. Keep it up, bro. My question is about purchasing a truck. I drove for Snyder back in 2012, but quit after six months for personal reasons. My plan is to go back on the company side for a year, then purchase a truck to start my owner operator business. My how question is, how much business credit do I need to have to do I need to have to purchase a decent truck? Thanks, Tune. Now listen, this is the thing. To purchase a decent truck, you're going to have to be at the top of the tiers. Now, let's go back to everything you were saying first. Okay, you've been with Snyder. You're going back to the, uh, to the uh, 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 um, you know, a company side, and you want to go on with that, and then you want to purchase your truck in about a year. Now, what's going to have to happen? When you're thinking about business credit, you got to remember, it's not a bunch of fools you're dealing with. You're dealing with people and businesses that's been burnt, and they want to make sure that they, they don't get burnt again. So... While you can definitely get business credit to buy a truck, uh, it's going to be a lot harder because you're going to have to go to the top tier. It's three tiers to business credit to, to you know, to, uh, uh, you know, consolidate it all down. You got vendor credit, which is when you go into these vendors and you're getting credit and you can use it in a, um, in a store and a store only for the most part is vendor credit is they give you a line. There's no card involved. You just call in, Hey, this is my, this is what I want to order. They ask you some confirmation points and you give it to them and you make your order. Okay. That's vendor credit. A lot of those people report. Those are the lowest tiers of credit. You know, the quills and the, you know, the other people, you know, that you deal with can't give it all away. And then you got the second, which is store credit. When you go into Staples and Walmart, uh, you, you got a lot of a lot of the store credit. You're going to get in between like $1,000 and $10,000, $15,000. Then you get to the second tier of that. Even though it's just the second tier, it's levels to it. You know, first you start applying for the smaller thing. You get the experiences. You go up. And then you could get the bigger things. Like me, for example, I got my Flying J card, my Love's card. This got five grand on it. That's got fifteen hundred on it. You know, um, I got DigiKey. That's got ten grand. Uh, Amazon gave me seven grand. Now the thing is, is that like Amazon, right now they delayed my account. They approved me for it, but then they delayed it. They said, well, we need to verify some more information, so they put my account on hold. Now I'm waiting for them to get back to me and say, "Hey, your delay is up. You could go ahead and use your credit." But DigiKey, I got ten grand with them. Uh, Sitgo it should be in, in my wallet somewhere. I got Sitgo. Uh, I got a card with them. I got two Sitgo cards actually. So you know, like I'm, I'm able to do a lot of different things. Like this is my uh, QT card. You know, that's um, that's got only about fifteen hundred on it. Then I can't find my Sitgo card. I don't know what that said. I better not have been and lost another one. But the point is, is that you're going to have to go through the tiers. It's not going to be a, just an easy journey. You're going to have to, you know, go through it and you're going to have to learn who, what, when, where, and why. And that's one of the last things that I'm about to add to my class to make sure that I simplify everything is going through the tiers and getting yourself to the top level where you can actually apply for a truck. But what I will say is this. When you're going for business credit, you can get started and you don't have to 
make a dime under your business. You don't have to do anything. But when you start getting into the 50, 70, 90, $150,000 tiers and, you know, where you actually start to ask for these things, now people are going to start, start calling and say, hey, we need to see taxes or we need sometimes people are going to say, hey, we need to see your business tax return or hey, we need to see a 1099 for your business. Hey, we need to see uh, actual income like some of the places as you start to go up, they'll say, well, we need to see at least ten thousand dollars in the savings account of your business. You know, to make sure that you actually doing business, you actually bringing in business revenue. So with that being said, you're definitely going to have to go in with your A game on and you're going to have to be on a more top tier level, which means that that's like at least at least 15 experiences when you go into that. That means that you need to have at least 15 interactions with different companies and some companies for the people that don't understand uh, experience sometimes one company can give you three experiences two experiences it depends how many credit bureaus they report to basically let me put it like this experiences like this if you go to amazon amazon give you three experiences they report to duns and bradstreet they report to experion and they report to uh equifax both of those are business equifax business experion business they report to those two right so that's three experiences versus Quill only reports to one. Quill only reports to Dun & Bradstreet. So, Quill is a one experience. Amazon gives you three. All together, if you got those two, that's four experiences. You understand? So, it's good. I call them three-pointers. I'm like, oh, my God. Amazon just approved me. That's a three-pointer right there. So, I call it a three-pointer. I hope that helps you. Uh, if you de if you feel like I didn't answer your question good enough, shoot me another one, and I'll shoot you another one. I just want to make sure that you're totally satisfied. But the biggest thing is you have to go. You have to build your company up. You have to get the experiences. You got to look like a company, have that email, have that, um, that email, that toll-free, that that virtual address you need to be listed you need to do all those things you need to go through the tiers you need to get your approvals you need to definitely do that and you need to have your business accounts you need to have everything set up correctly which you can learn from my course and then you move forward and you will be able to be successful now it's different strokes for different folks i will say that for you to ask about a uh uh your uh your, your truck the best thing for you to do is you need to start finding out the qualifications but the one thing i do want to tell you a lot of these people when you're going through the tears they're going to say you need to have two million dollars worth of revenue or you need to sign a, a personal guarantee disregard that tell them to give you the application and you fax it back in without your personal information they will run it but definitely you can ask them what's the qualifications to get a truck without a personal guarantee you could always ask see what they say outside of you know revenue just ask them that and you will definitely get an answer it might not be the answer that you like but you definitely will get one and just keep on driving keep on grinding and doing what you have to do and you will win Make sure you do the class. Make sure you do what's in the class and build that credit. You already know this your boy Tunchi. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be here?